the Axelor network amplifier is now indefinite, allowing integrators to get started connecting new chains to the Axelor network and for verifiers to vote on these transactions. This is an early guide to the current verifier onboarding experience. Take a look at the description below and at the latest version of the docs to make sure that you're aware of any changes, as we're rapidly improving the amplifier, the documentation, and these experiences. In order to start the process of onboarding as a verifier, you should definitely take a look at the latest version of the verifier docs. Uh, currently, those are located under validators, amplifier, become a verifier. Now, the instructions I'm looking at here are likely to have changed by the time you're looking at this. Uh, so definitely take a look and make sure you're looking at the latest version. Uh, these instructions do require you to install and use Docker. So if you don't have Docker, uh, go ahead and set that up. We'll be using that to install a few of the binaries. Uh, but to become a verifier, the first thing we're going to do to do is we're going to pull down and run Toffin D via Docker. Toffin D is one of the cryptographic uh, programs that we're going to be running in order to be signing and doing threshold signatures. So we're going to go ahead and copy these instructions, which will pull the latest version of Toffin D, and then we'll start e executing it. I've already run this in the past, so it's got an existing mnemonic that it's going to be reusing. But if you don't have one, it'll automatically set that up for you. Uh, now that we have that running in a tab, I'm going to go ahead and switch tabs. And that will allow us to run things simultaneously with Toffin D, which we're going to leave running in the background. The next step is going to be to download AMP D. So this is the actual daemon that you're going to be running that's responsible for monitoring the blockchain, voting, signing uh, with the amplifier protocol. So what you can do is you can go ahead and select the right binary to your system. Right now I'm on Linux, so we can go ahead and just copy that path or we can click on it. And I'll just download this into this little working folder that we've got. We now have our AMPD Linux AMD64 binary. Keep in mind that if you are using a Silicon, uh, Apple Silicon Mac or an Intel Mac, you need to download the correct binary. And you should also be double checking to make sure you're calling the right instructions for the binary that you downloaded. In order to make this a little bit simpler, I'm going to go ahead and link this binary. So I'm going to sudo ln-s, which is a sim link that works on Linux and Mac. Uh, and I'll take this binary, I'll take the whole working path, which is home, Steven, workspace, demo, verifier, and then the AMPD binary. And I will sim link that into my user local bin as AMPD. And what that will allow me to do is whenever I call AMPD, it will just work. And the Another thing we have to do per the instructions here are we have to make that binary executable. So I'll just turn it into a executable binary by chmodding this file. And then when we run AMPD, we should be working great. So our AMPD, you can also run an AMPD. I think just version is going to tell you the specific version, make sure that you have it installed and then it's working. Um, there's a couple other ways you can get the AMPD. If you don't want to run from the binary, you can pull it directly from Docker uh, or you can go to the AMP. XR Amplifier repository itself, uh, and it's got instructions for how do you clone that repo and then how do you do that local build. Now that we have an empty binary, let's go ahead and get this set up. So the thing we're going to need is a configuration file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a brand new file. So we'll just code a new config.toml file here, and we'll go ahead and paste in the entire contents of this file. So I'll just use Vim here for simplicity. We'll create that file and then we'll move this into the right place. So we've got our config.toml and we're going to move this into the right folder. And the right folder is going to be in your home folder dot ampd slash config.toml. All right, now that we have the configuration file, and if you take a look at this file, what you'll notice is that this is basically just telling ampd all the things it needs to know about how to connect to the XR network and we're connecting to a devnet here. And then it will also tell your AMPD how you are configuring and connecting to the other chains that you're verifying. You've got the JSON RPC endpoint, we've got the chain ID, the gas prices, all those sorts of things pre-configured for you, the reference to TOF and D where you're running it, as well as the handler for the given chain. In this default example, we've got Avalanche. So once we have this file, uh, you can also put it anywhere you want, but then every XRD command that you or empty command you pass in will have to be past that config file directly. So we have empty, we have it configured now. So let's go ahead and start the actual process. So first thing we want to do is we're going to make sure that we have some testnet or devnet funds. So what you can do is you can run empty worker address. And what that will do is that will give you a worker address on the devnet. So based on that key that we saw in Toffin D, we'll be able to figure out that address. And now what we're going to do is we're going to dive into the Axelar Discord. So if we just look for Axelar Discord, 
What you'll do is you'll find uh, a Discord community that you can join. You should sign in, join the developers channel. So I will just pull up another browser here where I'm already signed into Discord and you'll navigate to the faucet channel. And what you can do here is now you can go ahead and send a faucet command and we're gonna send this faucet command to the devnet-verifiers chain and we will paste in that address that we got from the worker address command. Uh, momentarily, we should be able to see that command succeeds uh, and that the faucet has now funded our address. Uh, if you're ever curious about actually checking to make sure that you got that, you'll need a command called axlrd, which I have just installed here. We'll be listing other instructions on how to make sure you have axlrd. You can run this axlrd command where you're gonna query the bank balances of your address. One thing you're gonna note is you are going to need that node address in order to access the correct chain. So we should just be able to do this and we're going to see, yep, I've got uh, this much U verifiers. And so I'm going to be able to run all of the following commands. So we've successfully funded that wallet. And now we're actually able to activate and run our verifier. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to bond our verifier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this empty bond worker validators and I'll put up 100 U verifiers. This is just the DevNet configuration. All right, so we've successfully broadcast that worker bond worker transaction. Next up, we're going to register our public key. I can't do this because I've already registered my address here. And then the last thing we're gonna do is register our chain support and say that we support Avalanche. So now we've broadcast that we support Avalanche and that is really it for the AMP configuration and all the tractions, transactions we need to make on the DevNet. One last final thing you'll need to do before you can actually start verifying transactions on the chains that you've chosen is you'll need to fill out this verifier onboarding form so that your address can be whitelisted on the DevNet. But even before then, what we should be able to see is that if we run AMP without any commands, this will spin up the daemon and that will effectively now be watching all the transactions on the Axler network on the DevNet and then checking to see, hey, does this need a signature from me? All right, and with that, we have set up and configured our verifier. We've connected it to the Axler network's DevNet for verifiers, and we are ready to watch for transactions on the chain and verify them that they've happened on the other connected chain. So that's really it for this video. Again, this is an early days for this process. So definitely stay tuned for updates. Take a look at the description. Take a look at the verifier onboarding documentation within our documentation site and let us know what feedback you have. We are always excited to continue making this process better for you. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.